All right, here we go. Now we'll see if anyone shows up. Yay! Texas. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so far, it's just me and you, but hey, that's better than me and nobody. <laughs> nah, it's no good being bored. Hey, beauty of nature, how are you? Uh, wait and see who all comes in. I want to check this haunted item I got. But we'll wait till a few people get here. Hi, Joyce. How you doing, dear? Uh, so far, it's okay. Not too bad of a night so far. Hey, enlightened ones. How are you? That nah, just, uh, hey, how you doing? Coffee from Hippie, yes. Coffee, coffee. <coughs> I had another item dropped off. I had to. I haven't really. Uh, I kind of remember it, but I kind of don't. So I had to pull the file. See what it was about. Oh, 
check it out. So I hope everybody's doing well. Oh no, broke your glasses, that's no good. Your phone keeps buffering. Hey, Anita, how you doing? I'm just going to give a few minutes to see if anybody comes in and then and then I'll start looking at this stuff. Like, make sure everybody rolls your bones. Uh, you can drop a link to your channel if you wish so that people can roll your bones. It's all good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, Astro likes you too, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's always you screwed. I mean, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, not you screwed. YouTube. I keep getting them mixed up. <laughs> well, maybe sometime you will. Where Where are you anyway? We're going to be going, going a lot of places pretty soon, so maybe you're along the way somewhere. I'll gladly stop in and say hi. I got to hook up with Woody and Texas and Anita and... A bunch of people I wanna wanna meet up with. Hey Hensley, how are you? Nice to see you. I was watching a couple of your stuff the other day. Can't remember. I watched too many. I was on a I was on a spree of watching things, so 
because it's all jangled in my head now. I don't know. I think I watched like 30 hours of uh, 30 hours of YouTube in uh, uh, two days. So, well, I'm doing all right. Yeah, no, this this is my uh, streaming computer, so it should be okay. I use my laptop; it's crap. But uh, sometimes I have to use my laptop because I'm not in hooked up, you know, like cable plug in. Eh? Very very welcome. I'm gonna go back and watch a couple more, and I'll leave. I'll make sure to leave some comments. I, I don't even know if I left any comments. Um, the last four or five I've watched, I think I left one on. Um, through the veil, I think I left one on there. I remember doing that, but a few other ones I don't remember. Hey, paranormal fan, how are you, dear? Yeah, wow. My laptop's crap. It's not that good of a laptop. It used to be. Hey, Jen. How are you, dear? It used to be. Uh, what was he? I'm going that way. We'll fit it in somehow. We'll meet up, or at least I'll, uh, when I'm near that area, I'll, I'll get live and tell everybody where I'm going to be for the day or something. We might go to a park or something. Meet up and have a barbecue with a bunch of YouTubers. That'd be fun. Yep, I remember the Cinda. Well, I'm definitely going to Orange County. Or is that Osage County? Okay. Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think maybe me and Hensley should hook up and do something. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be fun. Uh, well, we should get together and do, do a, a collab or collab or whatever the hell it's called. Hey, Claire. How are you? All right, it's a it's a deal then. So let's have a look at this thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait a minute, a bit more. <laughs> I'll uh, just look it up and see what it says. In my file folder here, see, I got all kinds of, all kinds of notes on all kinds of items. And I got 380 hundred of items, so I don't remember them all. Okay. Okay, the following Monica was sent from uh, 
Arkansas prison? Does that say Arkansas? It looks like looks like Arkansas prison uh, by the guards and warden. Because the inmates pass it around and was always fighting. Always fighting and cursing God. Okay. Okay, so basically, <laughs> cool. Yeah, me too. So basically, this harmonica was sent by the prison. They wanted to get it out of the prison because it kept causing apparently riots people would fight they play it they'd get mad uh crazy shit started happening every time someone was goofing off with this thing they couldn't explain it so they just wanted out of there so that's how i got it Some typical things would happen. People would lose track of time. Other people would lose their breath. Other people would get strong visions of this embodied people and go on a rampage. Some people would see an old guy sitting playing a harmonica in a jail. So apparently, um, hey, Colleen, how are you? So apparently, this harmonica here caused a lot of troubles. Hey, Gary, how are you? So, now, there's a tooth mark. Huh. I don't know. Right underneath my finger here, right there. Apparently, somebody was playing it, and one of the other uh, inmates didn't like it, so he hit him on the head, and he broke his tooth on there. Huh. Well, it feels yucky. You can feel a, a negative chill from it. I'm getting goosebumps on my arm just touching it. Yeah, and you can see there's actually actually two little two little dents. See there, those two teeth mark. Try to find it better. Okay. 
Okay, it'll be just in front of my finger here. Let's see if I can get it without the light. There you go. Those two indentations are from teeth. Somebody smacking someone upside the head because they didn't they didn't like it. Yeah, apparently, Gary, it's uh it was shipped by um Arkansas or Arkansas uh prison uh by the guards and the warden they they took it away from the prisoners because uh all the shit it caused uh every time someone played it someone got beat up <laughs> or uh little riots would start um some people would lose their breath hey Oz. so well we'll check it out further in a minute i gotta get this shit off me <laughs> Yeah. Eli. <laughs> Living a dream, one nightmare at a time. Amen. Well, that'd be fun. Yeah, it's uh we're gonna we're gonna see how bad it is in a couple minutes here. I'm basically worried. I wanna make sure if, if this one's going in my haunted room or if I can put it in storage. It's basically what it is today. No Astro. Watch my back. Let's give this a try. See what happens, huh? <sighs> Yeah, you do see an old man. That's the weirdest thing, the weirdest damn thing. As soon as you you play it, you see this old guy, and he's sitting on a steel cot, and he's bent over, and he's playing the damn thing. And it's shivery. It shivers, shivers up and down your spine. Ugh. Good Astro. Okay. Yeah. Astro and Shikar always check these uh, haunted eyes with me. And if they say, if they say that's enough, that's enough. So. But I just want to see how many of these things on this report might be true. But yeah, seeing the old guy, tell you what. You definitely see the old guy. And all the ways about it. Yeah, he looks real mean. He looks like weather worn. Um like a real uh stone face, you know. Got like a stone face. Um dead eyes. Okay, ready? <sighs> and you do lose your breath. So, so far, everything they've said is true. I'm going to do one more test, and that's it, because I don't want to play with it too much. Actually, I've heard of that. You seen a face in the smoke? Okay. That's probably that's probably whatever is attached to this damn thing. Okay, last try. Last thing we're gonna do here. 
Well, there's like 12 things, but I, I ain't interested in all that. All right. All right. I want to see, Astro, what people see when they play this in that prison. But I don't want to remember it. I just want to see it for a second. Wow. Okay. That's enough. Thank you. Yeah, okay, this thing is bad. I don't want this on the street. It's staying here. I could see why people would want to fight after seeing that. If, if people were seeing what I just saw, it's basically, I think it's all connected to that first guy I saw. Because it looks like somebody went into a restaurant, they sat down, started playing that, got up, and basically went after everybody uh, with a machete. And it was just like a bloodbath in there. And I think, uh, I think the guy that owned this first, I think it was him. I think it was that old that old stone face guy. You just got a picture of something being hanged, okay? Yeah. So now we know <laughs> this thing's no joke. So. I'm going to get a container. We're going to put it on the shelf. Just give me a minute. We're going to seal this puppy. Good Lord, I feel like I kissed a bucket of sulfur. Yeah, it was in the prison. Yeah, this thing's bad. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's no good.
All right. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Hear ya, hear ya, hear ya. Hear ya, hear ya, hear ya. I told my grandfather's forward, which is demon dust, to trap anything, any souls that are evil and awful. Make sure they can never escape. Keep them trapped forever. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Ask for the elementals to make sure this never sees the light of day again. Hey, 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 Uh, no, I don't. But it was a small desert town. It was uh, weeds rolling across like a bush. There was a blue sign outside the restaurant. That's all I know. Mother Earth, please protect all mankind. Please seal this. Its fate is to never see daylight or touch anyone again. Yes, Sister Moon and Brother Sun, to make sure any negative energy is made neutral so that it cannot harm anybody. And finally, I ask the four directions and four colors that know all and see all to keep this bind and bound. So that it can never, never affect anyone ever again. Hey, 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 see ya, see ya, see ya. Our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I ask that you bless the ingredients that keep this thing isolated. Make sure it never leaves. And it is stuck and trapped forever. Amen. This puppy is now sealed. Ugh. That shit is creepy. <laughs> Oh, get the shivers from it. Like just being close to it gives it the shivers. I'm going to go put this on its shelf where it's going to stay. Good idea, Anita. I'll do that. I'll take my jug and fill it. Hey, Boomer. I'm just going to go put this thing away before it uh, it's all sealed in the room.
my God. I got to tell you, <laughs> the creep factor in the haunted room just went up by 10. <laughs> my God. <sighs> Amen, Gary. Yeah, Astro and Shikara, make sure nothing goes your way. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm okay. It just, uh, yeah. I just feel like I got cotton mouth now. It'll pass in a few minutes. But it's, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't let anyone else touch that thing. That thing, that thing is, is it's crazy. Damn. Now I remember why we had that thing. <laughs> I got some more, lots more stuff coming. Um, next week I got something else coming. We'll wait till next week. But I only I only bring one thing once a week, if that, because uh, <laughs> your door shut. Yeah, there. Well, there you go. Um, I only bring one once a week because I don't want to overload the, the system. Eh? So once uh, next week, if Astro says it's okay to bring another item, we'll bring another item in. But. Uh, we let the guardian of that room and Astro basically say when it's to bring another piece in, so. Because, I, you know, I don't want this these certain ones out on the street on eBay or anything. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to put this house in danger either. So, you know, I leave it up to the guardian and, uh, and uh, Astro to... Uh, to uh, make sure the items that come in this house, when they should come or not. I just uh, had just tested out the haunted harmonica I got from the prison. Um, and it's nasty. It's terrible. It's a horrible thing. So that about sums it up. Nasty, terrible, and a horrible thing. No, that's never going anyone else's hands. I'll guarantee you that. And she's good and sealed, so. I think if I get more and more nasty crap in there, I might be moving Jenny from there. Because she's been trying really hard to be good. And that's a lot of energy. <laughs> An Arkansas state prison. Let me double check. Yeah, Arkansas State Penitentiary, that's all it says. Yeah. And that the warden and the guards wanted it out of there. They, they wanted it to be gone from the prison. So. so we ended up with it. I gotta get a new filing cabinet. Mine's just about full. So I need to buy a new filing cabinet. I need to make sure I can have enough room to keep all my records.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Boomer, boomer. Brother Boomer wants to come up for a few minutes. We'll bring Brother Boomer up. Of course, of course, Brother Boomer. Sending you a link, Boomer. Hey, brother Boomer. Hey, how you doing, Danny? What's up, bro? Um, I I wanted to uh like verbally respond to uh little Oz because it's a little too much to type in the chat. Um, for the exact location I gave you, is that where they found it? Found them? They found one. Um, and another thing, I I really needed that tonight, that confirmation, because recent events have led me to doubt a few things and stuff. But when I saw that, you typed that in there, Oz, I was like overwhelmed with Uh, I don't know if it's excitement or that brought some validation to me that I've been doubting for a while. Um, it's good to know that I don't know. I, I really don't know about that. Uh, um, I'd like to, but and I've been dealing with some stuff today as well that kind of um, was messing with my mind and things, but I don't really want to get into it. I mean, but some. I got information today that I should have had a week ago and it kind of upset me and I got into a got into it with my family about it. The fact that I'm always the last to freaking know anything. So it's just been one of those days and when I read that comment I was like, wow, that that almost kind of changes things. <laughs> There you go. Um, I guess I that that started the road to um, me uh, starting to believe a little bit more in myself now. Between that and the card I got from Cassie earlier. Wow, though I mean these two situations couldn't fit bit together any better. It, it, it's just crazy how that worked tonight. On today of, of all days, like today was gonna be the straw. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, wow, that confirmation really. Thank you, thank you for letting me know that. Oz. Uh, Hi, Bill. Hi, Carol. Wow, that's that was crazy. That was awesome. Well, you know, that's good. Let the spirit, the spirit often let us know it, uh, in our worst times that somewhere around right, now we should say. Right, right. 
So what exactly did I miss earlier? I came in right at the moment you were packing something up or something, and I was like, yeah, I've, got, I've, got, I've got about 380 haunted items over the 52 years I've been doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 50 of them are super nasty, so I don't want them to get up back on the street. And the old guy sure. that's, that's holding them, He's not doing well, and he's afraid that as soon as he passes, his kid will sell it all on eBay. So, oh, uh. anyway, today I I got the uh, harmonica from Ar Arkansas, 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 yeah, Arkansas from the, from the state prison. And, oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, this this particular item. Uh, caused a lot of riots, caused people to fight. Uh, one guy went to play it, another guy smashed it on top of his head, and his teeth went into the harmonica. Um, uh, it, it, you know, it just causes hatred and, and all that kind of right. stuff. Yeah, a couple of people had heart attacks, a lot of people lost their breath, all kinds of stuff with this thing. Uh, visions of, of uh, chaos and mayhem, which causes right. nuts. Anyway, so I just I uh, I just relooked at the file and and uh, just checked it out, tested it out a little bit, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, what they say is true. Um, did you research that the harmonica specifically? Like, did you do any kind of research or anything on the actual harmonica? Like, okay, hang on. Um, don't give anything up. Okay. Um, back in mid 1800s um there was a notorious uh gunslinger who was housed in a prison it they're not telling me where it could be here and all i can see is him sitting there constantly playing a harmonica mm -hmm. does the harmonica date back that far yeah early 1900s Early 1900s, late 1800s, like yeah, yeah. okay. Well, it was, it was stamped, but I can't remember what the stamp is, and I'm gonna go look. <laughs> okay. Oh, the year stamped on it. Yeah. Because I'm feeling between between like 1890s to early 1900s. Um. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, I do, however, I recall reading something on him. So, and I think that's why I see what I see now. Um, but he was he was inf he was infamously known for his harmonica playing. Yeah. Um, like never always had it in like his breast pocket of his uh, duster. If anybody knows what a duster is, you know what a duster is, right? Those long, yeah. all right, he always had it on him constantly, you know, and he was always playing it. And people, his, his gang, people in his gang, people like whenever, you know, they would just constantly be like, damn it, why are you always playing that thing? Like, you know, give it a break. <laughs> um, can't remember who it was though. Hi, Wendy. But yeah, that's that's weird. Yeah. So that's what you were boxing up. What's that? That's what you were boxing up when I came in the harmonica. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the the guy it was an old guy, you know, stone face and everything else. Mm -hmm. he, he was always in the cell playing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I guess when he died, his roommates from his possessions, mm -hmm. and then his possessions were sent to somebody who took his possession. I don't know who it was, uh, but anyway, the thought of the matter is that uh, the guy wanted that harmonica to go to his grandson or somebody like that right this guy stole it so 
he uh, possessed the harmonica. Like he he mm -hmm. uh, he um. They're showing me that he won it in a card game. The original owner. The original owner. They're, they're saying the original owner won it in a card game or something. I don't know. Um, that's what they're showing me. But I'll see if I got anything. Yeah, that all feels right. Like, yeah, he wanted to like he wanted to make it that part of his legacy. And he wanted something to hand down to his you know, kids and grandkids is kind of what I'm feeling. And I think if I'm not mistaken, he I think it was one in a card game. And back then things like that was high stakes. Like okay. well this is interesting. This is interesting. He it says here he wanted his harmonica and then in brackets doubled down. To go to his okay. grandson, but uh, the item could not be found when when the people came to collect the items. Right. Okay, right. so he named this harmonica Double Down, which would fit in with a card game. Right. Right. Double Down. Right. So I mean, if a guy's gonna nickname his harmonica, he must have really liked it. Yeah. Yep. Because Double Down is a term in blackjack. Right, twenty one or whatever, right? Black yeah. Time. Um. The yeah. The term double down means, all right. Instead of like you've placed your original bet, you get your cards, and based on your top card, that's well, it's played two different ways. Sometimes both cards are down. Sometimes they flip one up. But you look at your cards. Your first play is to fold it, stay. Double down or split. All right. All right. So he must have doubled down on that. I, I'm guessing he had like nine or ten and doubled down on it and won. Yeah. And so he probably hit 19 on a, he probably got a 10 on a nine or a nine on a 10, got 19, beat the dealer. Or the dealer bus, or the other. Um, but yeah, double down is a black hey, Jan. term. Hey, Jen. Yeah, black well, term. Anyway, anyway uh, the yeah. harmonica was named by him. He called it double down. Mm -hmm. he was supposed to go to his grandson, but his uh, right. teammate, partner, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, they speculate. Right. That, uh, the inmate partner stole it. And sold it for two packs of cigarettes to mm. another guy. Mm. And then from there, that's when all the mayhem started to break out around the harmonica. Wow. Wow. That's cool. Well, not cool that it's, you know, led to it being cursed, but who are you talking about? One of the. Dalton's? No, not no. I it. I'm sure it wasn't Dalton's game. No, this guy. Um, it was a drifter. Yeah, he was like a. He hung around with several different groups. Like he was, I want to say almost, almost like um. Uh, um, freelance gunslinger type, like yeah, yeah. drifter fits. He was like freelancing throughout the United States, you know, um, being a hired gun. Doing okay, Kenny. How are you? And for some reason, everyone he was around, uh. That where he, you know, playing the harmonica, everybody like it got to the point where people were getting annoyed by it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah well, I'm glad that it's put away now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. that's one of the items that your friend had mm -hmm. that you just received. Yeah, okay. Well, 
Hey, Jans. Charlie Hart was like, you know what? That sounds very familiar. Charlie Hart. That does sound familiar. That does sound familiar. Yeah, Gary. Gary knows a lot about like the old time like gangster stuff and things. Like he has a lot of knowledge on a lot of things I've discovered. Yeah, he he got a lot. Some of the items that I got here, he knows about already. Like he knows what the where the chains came from. He knows, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, and you don't live far from me either, apparently. Oh uh, yeah. by the way, Gary, I may have an opportunity to go to um, Gettysburg. Sometime soon. I just I remembered uh, today. Um, this is my silver lining around my very dark cloud today. I because I had to contact my cousin about something else, um, and I was talking to him, and he reminded me. Well, you know, I live in PA. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, you do, don't you? It's like, how far do you think you are from Gettysburg? Like. And he's like, why? And I explained to him that there's a few people here on YouTube that want to get together and um, meet up and do something at Gettysburg. But for me to be involved, any of them would have to go three to six hours out of the way in order for that to happen, which would mean going out of the way to get me going down and then have them go out of the way to take me home. And, you know, so I was talking to my cousin and I was like, well, if I arranged it, that I could get down there. Could you hey, get man. Down there and bring me home? Cause my cousin only lives two and a half hours or so from me. Um, in PA. So he's closer to it. And he's like, yeah, I mean, if you got down here, I'd be happy to take you home afterwards you know i'm like yeah okay cool because i mean i'm a three and a half hour drive but cool anyway. yeah so anyway lots of other items coming slow but sure <laughs> but putting that thing in there creep that creep factor in that room went up by 10 my God. Wow. That was crazy. Crazy. <sighs> I was thinking, oh my goodness. Yep. <sighs> I'm going to turn on the Raptor box. Oh, uh, that's cool. I, 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 I'll actually be sitting back listening for something. Do, 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 do. Raptor box, guys. We need five yeps. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Gemma, how you doing? That's three. Yep, I see you, butterfly kisses. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm going to use that and go buy myself a coffee. 
on you. How's that? Okay, there we go. We got them. Oh, it's my Bridgie. Okay. Big hugs. Love you. Hello, spirit. Hello. Yeah, I'm home. Hey, you can, Gemma. You want to see? Uh, should we get Gemma? Spirit, you want Gemma come up? Yeah? Okay, we'll get Gemma. Gemma. Danny, yeah. Butterfly kisses incognito says hello, spirits. Hello. Gary says hello. And he says hi to Shikara and Astro. And Hippie says hello, coffee and candy if you want it. Pour it, they said, pour it. <laughs> uh, Gemma Grace on Facebook. It's haunted. Yeah, I know it's haunted. So is the harmonica is the harmonica safe now? Yep. Good job. Good to hear. Yes, what can I do for you? Hello. You like the people? Yeah. Can you say YouTube beans? Come on, say YouTube beans. Okay, Gary. What is the? They said, "Yeah, we want some." <laughs> Wendy says, hello, lovely spirits. Hope you're doing good. There's Gemma. Hello, sweetie. Hello. All right. There you go, spirits. Have a puff. Go ahead. Go. Oh, I heard one go. Hey, Exalted Misfit. Oh, you have another puff? Okay. Go ahead. Which one? Okay, you want one too? Okay, go ahead. Hurry up. Don't smoke all my cigarettes, though. Yeah? Now, you guys, you guys are greedy today? Okay, one more. Go ahead, one more. Please? Okay, there you go. There. 
You're welcome. <laughs> Good day, Spirits to saying. Then they're saying hi, Gemma. Hi, Spirits. You heard that, Gary? Yeah. Gemma, yeah. Yeah. So do you guys love Gemma? Do you think she's a sweetheart? I do. I love you too, Danny. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Big hug. Yeah, yeah everybody wants a pup, see? Little Oz says, good day, sir. Oz did, yeah? <laughs> did you see that? Oz said. <laughs> Hey, Matt gives you hugs and kisses, Gemma. Thank you. I can't see the chat because the chat's not coming up, so it's okay. complete frozen on my side. Mm. Now, let's see. Wendy Lopez says, hi, Gemma. Hi, Wendy. So, spirits, what do you got to say? Anything? Where are we? <laughs> well, right now you're at my house, I think. Yep. You got a message for Boomer? What do you want to tell Boomer? Look at me. Okay, we're looking. I'm listening if anybody's got a message for Boomer. Well, one message for me. Our message for Jamma. Say that again, please. What what do you say to Jamma? I heard, I heard it say, um, Emmy, I used to have a cousin called Emma. She died when she was stillborn, but they used to call her Emmy as a nickname. Oh. Yes. Yes? Is Emmy there? She would be, right now, she'd be three years older than me. Emmy, are you there? No, don't be nervous. Love you. Someone said love you to you. Yeah, I heard that. That was that was cool. Emmy, if that's you, tell me that tell me that you love me and I I can know I now I know it's you and I can I can feel that my cousin's actually there. Oh, wow, that was crystal clear. I heard that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Whoa, that was that was crystal clear. Wow. Yeah, Danny, yeah, I'm here. Hey, Bree. Hello, who are you? Hi, Serena, big hugs. All right. Hi, Bree. Yeah, I'm here, Spirits. I just heard you calling me. I'm here. Love you, yeah. Hi, 
<laughs> love you. Someone saying love you to Serena. It said, it just said Sam. So you yeah, said that. It said, it's Sam. It's Sam? Okay. Yeah, that's what they said. Who's that right there? Who did I just point at in the chat? Uh, I don't know. I haven't got the chat up. It wouldn't let me see the chat. Wendy says, ah, oh, that was awesome, Gemma. They repeat, the spirits are repeating what we're saying. They keep saying chat. Yeah. <laughs> spirits, are you looking at the chat? Of course. Oh, good. <laughs> are you reading the chat for me? Right on. That's good. They, they, told, they, to, they told you to cut it out. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Who's smoking cigar at Gary's place? Robert. Robert, are you smoking a cigar at Gary's? Yeah. You know, Robert, Gary, apparently Robert's having a cigar smoke at your house. Oh, you had a sister named Samantha. Her name was Sam. Sam, were you talking to Serena earlier? Sam, did you have a message for Serena? Yeah, I just heard it. She said, yes, Sam. Yeah. Robert, no smoking over there. You come back here and smoke. It just said you're safe, Serena. Yeah, you're safe, Serena. Do you visit Serena, Sam? What What do you mean, spirits get up? Who are you talking to, spirits? I'm telling someone to get up. It's Sam. <laughs> Hang on, okay. It just said, someone just, one suit just said, get on with life. I don't know who that was aimed at. Yeah. Get on with life. Get on with yeah. life. Robert. I said Robert. Robert, are you having trouble? Do you need help? Is that why you're sticking out, Gary? Green. Robert Green. Robert Green? That's what it's saying, yeah. Robert. Wait a help. second. Help. Robert, are, help. You, are you from the cemetery, Robert? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know Gary from the... the you, you know Gary from the cemetery? The one that he's been fixing up and cleaning? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a second. Robert, do you know who Vincent is? Okay, say that again. It was too, too fast. They said... What are they gonna do? 
So I just work. I just. And now you got the chills, Gary. Okay, so Robert, you know Gary from the cemetery when he was cleaning up, and you like Gary. Yes. Okay, but you can. Yes, he's nice. Yes, he is nice. Do you know who Vincent is, Gary? I mean, uh, Robert, do you know who Vincent is? Yes, they just call my name. That sounds like a bloke. Who, who's the bloke talking to me right now? Robert. Michael, that's my granddad. That's my mum's. That's my mum's dad. Okay. He died of he died of a heart attack twenty eight years ago. So I was about four and a half. What do you want, Michael? I, are you want are you wanting to say hello or what do you want? Send love. That be to my mum probably. Yeah. You, are you trying to send love to your daughter, Mike, Michael, Granddad? If you're there, like, are you trying to contact your daughter through me? Serena says, "Love you, Sam. Don't worry about her and Brandy are doing good, doing well." Misty? I don't know if Misty's here. Oh, there's young Mike. Hey, Michael. Hello. Any messages? That's older, Michael. I am listening. If it's if that's my friend, I am listening. I just, I saw you said you tell me to shut up. Yeah, she you just shut up. Okay. <laughs> you cheeky, you cheeky, granddad. Yeah, no, being, no being cheeky. <laughs> you know you're not allowed to be cheeky on holy ground. <laughs> Three, yes. You got any messages, Bree? Okay, she loves loves Gary. That's what she said. Love Uncle. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit bossy, yeah. Hi, Tom. Hi. Josh. I said Josh. Time invite. Invite who? Spirits, who are you trying to invite? June. I've got, I've got an Auntie June that's fast. What was <clears throat> terrible? Yeah, uh, you're feeling terrible? What do you need to feel better? Prayer. Prayer, you want, pain. You want a prayer? What they're saying. Yes, please. Okay. 
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I ask that you bless all the spirits and bless all the Ethiopians here. Make sure everyone stays clean and happy. Help those that need help and make sure that they feel better. Please give uh, some love and support to our dear Gemma because she's been going through a rough go. I'm glad to see that she's feeling better, so keep at it. And uh, bless all of you too, I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. There you go, spirits. See that? That's good. All right, spirits. We're going to let you get off of here now. All right. Bye, Johnny. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. There we go. That was nice. That was, that was, that was super cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like the spirits that come here. They're all very respectable and, and yeah, they're very polite, very nice bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, they're very good. I definitely heard from my granddad that I my my granddad's voice is so distinct when he was alive. As soon as I heard the word Mike, I was like, "Damn it! I know who that is. That's my granddad." <laughs> yep. Yeah, a lot of people have come in here. Uh, they will hear their the voice of the person that you know they know who it is right away by their voice. So yeah, my granddad died. I was five, I think. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, the uh, uh, that was a real good session. I like that. And I, I asked the spirits to make sure is everything good now with that thing. Yep, yep, yep. So it's got three yep. So I'm good with that. Man. <laughs> They kept they kept telling you that they loved you. They're like, at the end, you, there's a I think it's a young girl. They're like, she's like, oh, bye, love you then. And then I was like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of sweeties, but um, well, I got lots of spirits here, and and uh, they're always very nice. So yeah, you seem to get a lot of them. They seem to be very popular talking to you. Yeah, well. You know, I've been doing this over 50 years now, so I've met a lot of spirits. <laughs> yeah, I know you've got a very good, you've got a very good uh, reputation for talking to them. Yeah, they're, they're good. I love them. Hey, thinking of others, how are you? Hey, thinking of others, long time no see. How are you? Good to see you. How you doing, Boomer? I know you're muted, but it's good to see you. Yeah, he's just laying back, relaxing, he said. He's probably fell asleep. <laughs> no, it's possible. Oh, no. uh, I'm here. Hey, Boomer, what's up? Contemplating some things as well. There you go. I miss you, Boomer. It's been a long time since I've talked to you. Uh, I've been sneaking around here and there, checking stuff out here and there. Uh, been on a panel here and there. Uh, I know. I've been lurking. Uh, Hi, Stoney. Boomer was one of the ones who taught me to lurk on many live streams. So I've I've been lurking when Boomer's been on panels. I'm like, oh, there he is. Uh, uh, people just don't want me to let things go. Or are they not, they're not willing to let things go, one or the other. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to see you, Boo, man. It's been such a long time. Take care, hon. We'll see you soon. Uh, I'm just trying to focus more on my real world life. And, uh,. Not putting too much effort into the whole social media thing anymore. So. I understand. I understand. It's good, it's good that you're still making an appearance, though. It's nice to see that you're still around. 
Appreciate that. Can't, can't let my faves down. I guess. So. You know that you're always welcome on, on my panels, but you may like you know I have a lot of love and respect and time for you. You're always welcome while I'm doing a panel or not, you can always come in and chat on mine. Yeah. I'm just trying to keep it as minimal as possible, that's all. I respect that. That's so, that's fine, I respect that. Oh, good news. Northern California fires are getting under control. Yay! Finally. About bloody time. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Good night, Wendy. Big hugs to you. That's like the, the, the UK where I am. We're we're back in second lockdown, so we we can't pretty much go out apart from if we need shopping or exercise we're pretty much stuck at home again uh, we haven't really been experiencing much of that here it, it, I mean if it wasn't for the fact that it's mandatory to wear masks in public you wouldn't even think anything was going on you know here yeah, it's pretty much been that way here for the last it's five you, months. Yeah, it's, I mean, since this even started, it's been business as usual. Like, you know, no quarantines, no lockdowns, nothing like that. Um, just business as usual. They only, re, you know, you're only required to put on a mask if you go into a public place like a store or something like that you know yeah that's the only it's more of an annoyance than anything yeah but i understand people that people are taking it too seriously anyway yeah i don't wear one anyway because i can't because of my sensory issues so i tend to stay the hell away from anybody and go right. out very very minimal if i have to yeah I, I mean, like, yeah, even if there was, like, a lockdown or anything like that here, it wouldn't affect me all that much because I pretty much stay home for the most part anyway. I need to do a shit. Like, it's not changing my life, any. <laughs> nope, won't change mine either. All right. We, pr we pretty much we pretty much isolate ourselves anyway. I'm usually always at home anyway, so for me it's just the fact I've moved from being at my dad's for the last set, well, last seven, eight weeks, and then now I'm back home, and it's just the same thing. I'm on my own, but back at my house, it's the only difference. Right. Yeah, it's it's nice to be on panels and have a decent internet connection because my internet, my dad sucked. Yeah. <laughs> well. Uh, well, everybody, I think I'll get off of here. I want to thank you all for coming. Boomer, you got any words of wisdom you want to part with? Uh, not today. Not today? Uh, I'm yeah. searching for myself, actually. Well, keep looking. Yeah. What about you, Jim? I'll talk to you about it. Okay. I'm just grateful that you had me had me on and let me come and be part of the the stream. And remember that everybody in this chat on the panel is special people, and that you can do anything you put your minds to. Never give up on your dreams, what you want to do. Amen. Lovely to see you, Dark Prince. Amen, Gemma. Words to live by right there. Yeah, I think that's what we all need to focus on. You've all got dreams and goals, and you can do it. You just need to believe in yourself to do it. That's true. Very true. All right, everybody. Good night. Thank you so much for, Good night, everybody. for coming and visiting. Uh, it was really nice to have you all here. Uh, remember now, 
Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> and have a good night. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye. Oh, sorry. Good night. Much love. No, too late. No, you got oh. it. You got it. All right.